Now the swatches panel in InDesign is very powerful, gives you a lot of control over the colors in your document, but there are many things that the swatches panel doesn't do that I really wish it did. So enter Blattner Tools. Blattner Tools gives you lots of controls over your colors way beyond what the swatches panel does. For example, the find color dialog box. I'm going to open that by going to the swatches panel flyout menu and choosing find colors. Or you could get to the same thing by going to the edit menu and choosing find colors. Or the Blattner Tools flyout menu or the Blattner Tools menu up here, choose find colors. It doesn't matter where you get it, they all take you to the same place, the find colors dialog box. And the find colors dialog box it may seem a little overwhelming at first, but don't worry, it's really quite simple. Over on the left is a list of all the colors in your document. It only shows you the colors that you've used on the left. So you might have dozens and dozens of colors, but it will show you what's actually been used. So up here are all the colors uh, that are the same as they show up in the swatches panel. Down at the bottom, there are some unnamed colors, and those are colors that you've used, that you've applied perhaps with the color panel instead of the swatches panel. There are no swatches. Watches. And you can actually sort these in all kinds of ways, like sort by name or sort by the spot colors on top. Let's go to the top here. You can see spot colors on top. I'll go back to the way they were, the way they show up in the swatches panel. And I can see that these unnamed colors here look suspiciously like a color that I do have a swatch for over here. This lists all the current uh, swatches in this document. So I would really like to find both of these colors, wherever those unnamed colors were used, because they're pretty similar to this one over here. I'd like to find those and replace it with the swatch itself. I, I selected both of these, by the way, by holding down the command or control key uh, to select more than one item in the list. So I've selected these, I want to replace it with this, and I want to replace it everywhere, whether it's used in text or an object, a stroke or a fill or whatever, I want to replace it everywhere. And that's very hard to do in InDesign, but with find colors, you can do it with one click. Simply sh uh, set up the Find Colors dialog box and click Change All. It goes through the whole document, finds them all, replaces them with the swatch, and we're done. Here, let's do another one. Let's do this orange color, because I know that's used quite a bit up here uh, throughout uh, my document. I'll select that, and I'll say, I want to find all the orange and replace it with, let's say, uh, this pink color over here. Find in text, in fills, and gaps, and wherever. Go ahead and change all. And it even goes inside uh, paragraph styles and character styles and changes the definition inside there. So you can see that very quickly it replaced it throughout the entire document. I'll go ahead and click Done. You can see that everything is now in this pink color. Now, there's something else about this document that I'm noticing. I see this, this Pantone color, this Pantone color, two Pantone colors there, and I don't remember exactly where I used those in this document. I'm not even sure they're supposed to be in this document, so how do we find them? Finding particular colors is not easy in, in InDesign, especially if they're inside of graphics. Uh, however, Find Colors in Blattner Tools does let you do just that. So I could open the uh, the Find Color dialog box uh, just like I did a, a little mo a moment ago, but instead I'm going to show you a shortcut. Um, just right click on the color or uh, control click with a one button mouse, and there's this new feature, Find Next Use. And uh, that's a Blattner Tools feature. That's there because of Blattner Tools. And then you just click Find Next Use, and it jumps right to it. Here, let me zoom in to 200%. And you can see, there it is. There's the graphic that used that Pantone color. So Find Colors can find Pantone colors, you know, spot colors, inside of PDF files, AI files, um, EPS files. It cannot find process colors, unfortunately, but it can find spot colors. And that's usually what you're looking for when you're trying to uh, track down a rogue color. Let's try it again. Let's go uh, right click or control click with one button mouse and say find next use. Up oh, there it goes. It found another use of it up here, a piece of text which got accidentally set to that spot color. And that's not what we want. Let's go ahead and set that to black. That's what it was supposed to be. So you can see that find color is very powerful. And you can even assign a keyboard shortcut to that, by the way. You know, with a keyboard shortcuts panel in Blattner Tools, you can assign a keyboard shortcut to that find next use. So you can very quickly um, go from one color to the next, uh, one use of, of that color to the next, instead of having to use the swatches panel all the time. Now remember, the Find Colors feature is only one of dozens of features in the Blattner Tools suite of plugins. Blattner Tools from DTPTools.com, making InDesign even better.